It's a Wonderful Life is a 1946 American Christmas fantasy drama film directed by Frank Capra and starring James Stewart, Donna Reed, and Lionel Barrymore. The movie was adapted from the short story The Greatest Gift by Philip Van Doren Stern. It tells the story of George Bailey, a man who has always put the needs of others before his own and feels like his life has been a series of missed opportunities. On Christmas Eve, he contemplates suicide but is saved by his guardian angel, Clarence, who shows him what life would have been like if he had never been born. Through this experience, George learns the value of his life and the impact he has had on those around him. The film opens with a scene of people praying for George Bailey, and we see Clarence Oddbody, an angel assigned to help George, being briefed on his life. George is a well-respected member of his small town of Bedford Falls, but he has always put the needs of others before his own dreams. When he was young, he dreamed of traveling the world and building things, but his father's death forced him to give up his dreams and take over the family business, the Bailey Building and Loan. He also gave up his plans to go to college and marry his girlfriend, Mary Hatch. The Bailey Building and Loan provides affordable housing loans to the people of Bedford Falls, and George is proud of the work they do. However, the town's wealthy and ruthless banker, Mr. Potter, wants to put the Bailey Building and Loan out of business so he can control the town's finances. Potter offers George a high-paying job and the chance to travel the world, but George refuses, knowing that the Bailey Building and Loan is the only thing standing between the people of Bedford Falls and Potter's greed. As the years go by, George marries Mary and they have four children. However, his life is far from perfect. He is constantly struggling to keep the Bailey building and loan afloat, and he resents the fact that he never got to fulfill his dreams. One Christmas Eve, after a series of setbacks, George reaches the end of his rope and decides to jump off a bridge and end his life. It is at this point that Clarence, his guardian angel, intervenes. He shows George what life would have been like if he had never been born. The town of Bedford Falls is now called Potterville, and it is a dark and depressing place where the people are poor and miserable. Mary is a spinster, Uncle Billy is in an insane asylum, and George's younger brother, Harry, died because George was not there to save him from drowning. George is shocked by this alternate reality and begs Clarence to let him live again. When he returns to his own life, he is overjoyed to be alive and grateful for the love and support of his family and friends. The people of Bedford Falls come together to support him financially, and his brother Harry arrives in time to save the Bailey building and loan from being taken over by Potter. The film ends with George's daughter Zuzu telling him that a bell on their Christmas tree rang, and she says that every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Clarence is shown receiving his wings, and George realizes that his life truly is wonderful. It's a Wonderful Life is a timeless classic that has touched the hearts of millions of people over the years. It is a story about the value of human life and the impact that one person can have on the world. George Bailey is a relatable character, and his struggles and sacrifices resonate with audiences even today. The film's themes of selflessness, community, and the power of love and hope are still relevant today. In a world where people often put their own needs and desires above others, It's a Wonderful Life serves as a reminder that our lives have meaning and purpose beyond our own individual pursuits. The film's portrayal of the town of Bedford Falls and its people is also noteworthy. The town is a small, close-knit community where everyone knows each other and cares for one another. This sense of community and connection is something that many people today long for in an increasingly isolated and individualistic society. The performances in the film are also exceptional, particularly that of James Stewart as George Bailey. Stewart's portrayal of a man struggling with his own feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt is both relatable and heart-wrenching. Donna Reed also shines as Mary, George's supportive and loving wife, and Lionel Barrymore delivers a standout performance as the villainous Mr. Potter. It's a Wonderful Life was not initially a box office success, but it has since become a beloved classic that is synonymous with the holiday season. Its themes of love, hope, 
and the importance of community continue to resonate with audiences today, and its message is perhaps more important now than ever before. In conclusion, It's a Wonderful Life is a heartwarming and inspiring film that reminds us of the value of our lives and the impact we can have on others. Its timeless themes and unforgettable characters have made it a beloved classic that continues to be enjoyed by audiences of all ages.